In this video, we're going to learn how to use tape diagrams to solve problems involving ratios. So for vocabulary, please start by writing down that a ratio is either a part to part or a part to whole relationship. So, and then let's also write down an example. So let's say that my fruit trees produce two pears for every one apple. My fruit trees is twice as productive as my apple tree. We could write that ratio lots of different ways. So we could write it as a part to part. We could say two to one. That would be two pears to every one apple. We could also write it as two to three. That would be like saying two out of the three pieces of fruit are apples. We'll talk about that more later. Um, we could also say one to two if we wanted to say apples to pears. And then instead of using the colon, the two little dots, we could also say two to one. We can use the two in there instead of the colon. And we can also actually do these as a fraction, but we'll talk about that more in later videos. All right, so we're gonna be working with tape diagrams. So we're gonna take an example problem. We'll say Amanda and Amir have marbles in a ratio of two to three. Together, they have 35 marbles. How many marbles does each one have? So we're noting here that we're, since we're dealing with a ratio, we're not actually saying that Amanda has two marbles and Amir has three. We're just saying that for every two marbles Amanda has, Amir has three. But together they have 35. So you could probably guess and check and figure this out, how many each of them have. But we're going to show a, a more precise way to figure it out. All right, so we're going to start by showing um, a rectangle for how much Amanda has. And we're going to use one box for each part of her ratio. So Amanda has two and then Amir has three. So notice how I'm lining them both up at the same spot and I'm making each box be like one for their ratio. So Amanda has two for every three that Amir has, but together they have 35 marbles. So obviously two plus three doesn't equal 35, but in their ratio, there's like five parts total, two from Amanda and three from Amir. So if we do 35 divided by five, that tells us that each part is worth seven marbles. So Amanda has two groups of seven marbles and Amir has three groups of seven marbles. So Amanda has a total of 14 and Amir has a total of 21. And then we can check our work by seeing does 14 plus 21 equal 35? Sure does. We got it. So the important thing to note here is that the boxes are the same size for both. That's really Okay, let's try another example. So in this one, the ratio of boys to girls in a class is 5 to 7. And there are 36 total students. So how many girls are there, how many boys are there, and how many more girls than boys are there? So this is very similar to the last one. If you think you understood, I want you to go ahead and pause and try it now. If you're still pretty confused, then go ahead and watch as I explain. All right, so I'm gonna start by making five boxes for the boys and seven boxes for the girls. Notice how I'm using the grid in my notebook. And then I note that all together, there's 36. Well, there's not 36 here. There's just one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, so I do 36 divided by 12 to figure out how much each of those boxes is worth. 
and so that 36 divided by 12 would be 3. So that means that each box is worth 3, and 3 times 5 gives me 15, and 3 times 7 gives me 21. And then I check my work by showing that 15 plus 21 equals 36. All right, so we can see that there are 15 boys and 21 girls, but then it also asks how many more girls than boys are there? So to do that, I just need to subtract. Since there's 21 girls and 15 boys, that gives me six. So then I can write out my final answer as a sentence. There are 21 girls and 15 boys. There are six more girls than boys. Okay, last one. Mr. Sherman plants tulips and daffodils in his garden. He plants them in a ratio of three to four. He plants a total of 70 flower bulbs. How many more daffodils did he plant than tulips? Take a look at example two if you're not sure how to answer this one. It's the exact same type of problem. We will go over this in class tomorrow.